You can now watch four episodes of Game of Thrones online, but it won't be legal. I'm Dan Graziano, filling in for Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The hit HBO show Game of Thrones returned on Sunday, but savvy internet users were able to get an early look at the fifth season. The first four episodes, out of ten total, were leaked online on Saturday. The episodes appear to originate from a screener that was sent out to early reviewers. HBO has confirmed that these episodes are in fact the real deal and that it is currently investigating how the breach occurred. But it wasn't all bad news for HBO. While some users experienced minor problems, especially with HBO Go, for the most part, the company's HBO Now and HBO Go streaming services were able to survive the onslaught of customers trying to watch the new episodes of Game of Thrones, Silicon Valley, and Veep. It wasn't all smooth sailing for LG, though. The company also had to deal with its own leaks over the weekend. LG saw its upcoming G4 smartphone revealed in full weeks before it planned to announce the device. The leak claimed that the G4 will feature a 5.5-inch high-resolution QHD display and an improved 16-megapixel rear camera. It's also looking like the device will have a removable battery and a microSD card slot, two features many people were upset Samsung removed from the Galaxy S6. LG is set to announce the G4 at a press event on April 28th. Unless you live under a rock, you probably heard that pre-orders for the Apple Watch kicked off last Friday. And it didn't take long for many people to crown Apple as the king of the wearable market. While Apple hasn't announced pre-sale numbers just yet, analysts from Cohen and Company estimate that sales reach close to a million units. The firm came up with that number by analyzing Apple stores throughout the San Francisco Bay Area over the weekend, with many other analysts agreeing that Apple is quote-unquote off to a very strong start with the Apple Watch. But this should all be taken with a grain of salt until we hear directly from Apple. Devices like the Apple Watch can be very confusing for new users, but a new program from Sprint hopes to fix this. With the company's new Direct to You program, when you upgrade to a new smartphone or tablet, you can set an appointment with a Sprint employee to meet you and help you set up your new device, transfer over contacts, and personalize it to your liking. The best part, this can all be done from the comfort of your own home. The program is available for free starting on Monday in the Kansas City metropolitan area and will expand to Chicago and Miami next week. Sprint has said that it plans to expand to more areas throughout the year with the hope of having 5,000 cars on the road in major metropolitan areas by the end of 2015. That's your tech news update. For more, head over to CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Dan Graziano.